LeBron James. Once again a hot topic because of his doxing of the police officer who shot the teenager who tried to stab another teenager. I assume you all know this by now. And I like to start with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp who I have often talked about LeBron James's activism and they have praised him for that. And I think after LeBron ducks the officer they went on the Undisputed show and defended him. And LeBron of course deleted the tweet. I understand that if you are an activist I think realistically you can't take on all the wrong things going on in the world. And it seems that LeBron James is only concerned about police brutality when it's against black people. And of course when Daryl Morey tweeted about Hong Kong, uh, LeBron James was quick to call him uneducated. But he doesn't say anything about China, of course. And yeah, you know, it's easy for us to say something against China because we have nothing to lose. LeBron James has a lot of money to lose and the NBA. But that's kind of my point with LeBron James's activism is that he has nothing to lose. Uh, he, Skip Bayless and Sean Sharp have praised him for the Black Lives Matter thing and in the bubble they put the Black Lives Matter slogan on the floor and I think LeBron had something to do with it. But he has nothing to lose. It's not like he has been suspended or fined or at least I know and at least to my knowledge he hasn't lost any sponsors over this whole Black Lives Matter thing and hasn't lost for the doxing either. So for me uh, there are no there's nothing to lose for LeBron James and so I don't personally kind of like appreciate his activism because he's preaching to the choir kind of like Lewis Hamilton in Formula One he's the biggest star he can do pretty much anything he wants. And uh, on a side note, uh, Fox News host Cut, uh, Greg Gutfeld, feel, Fet, Gutfeld, something like that, he said that guilty or not, he was hap he's happy that the police officer convicted of murder and manslaughter in the George Floyd case is convicted. So that riots in his neighborhood will stop and possibly across the country, Portland. If you think about it, I'm not, I don't know if there has been protests or riots over the killing of the teenage girl who tried to stab another girl. But looking at LeBron's, LeBron James' uh, reaction to this, you're next. And the picture of the police who killed him, uh, killed her, Maybe it would have been better that the black girl would have stabbed the other girl and the police officer would have arrested her after that. Of course maybe they would have tried to uh, tase her but assuming that the taser would have not stopped her she would have, be, would have been able to maybe stab the other girl to death. And let's just take a moment and really think about what kind of crazy world we live in. Because Black Lives Matter movement won't riot when a black, black person kills another black person. There was a case recently in Cincinnati, I think, where a 13 year old girl stabbed another girl. And, and I think that they were both black. And it only made the local news. No CNN coverage, no MSNBC. Don't get me wrong, I, I don't blame the police officer. I'm not sure I would call him a hero, as some people have said. But certainly not guilty of any wrongdoing. But if the black girl, the 15 year old black girl would have stabbed and killed the other girl, 
Lab, someone like LeBron James probably wouldn't have said anything. He wouldn't have tried to dox the police officer. So in in that way, it were, it would have been better if the police would have just tried to taser and maybe uh, I crazy. And I might be entirely wrong about this. What I'm gonna say next, but. LeBron James doxing this police officer, saying the your next line and putting his picture uh, and sending that tweet to 40 million of his followers is what I think of when women falsely, falsely accuse men of rape or sexual assault on Twitter or social media. They know that the guy didn't do anything wrong they're not guilty, but I always get the feeling that they kind of like try to nudge people to do something. So when a woman falsely accuse someone of rape, secretly they hope that maybe someone out there goes and beats up the guy or kills the guy. Well, maybe not kill the guy, but beats him up. And then they can just say, oh, I didn't mean that to happen. Yeah, right. So I'm not saying that LeBron wants the police officer killed, we get a beating. And I just got a feeling when LeBron sent that, that tweet of the police officer that maybe something other than legal action should happen to that guy. And you know what, I'm probably a hypocrite also because I'm talking all this stuff about LeBron, but I probably will make highlight videos about him in the future. But I'm not talking about LeBron James, the basketball player, but LeBron James, the activist. Uh, and to me, he's kind of like a fake activist, if I didn't say that already. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye.